Hey, what's up guys? Today I wanna to share four books with you. These are my four favorite books when it comes to finding inspiration. There are stories about going through hardship and how to overcome hurdles, and I know we all need that right now, so let's dig right in. So the first one on my list is The Boys in the Boat by Daniel James Brown. It's an absolutely amazing book about overcoming unbeatable odds. And I'll read off from the front page here. It says, the true story of an American team's epic journey to win gold at the 1936 Olympics. They show pictures from the 1930s. And like here you can see is where they made the rowing boats. It's absolutely amazing. There's just a bunch of pictures. It really sets the mood and brings you back to the 1930s, which is really cool, I think. The timing of the book is incredible. Also, right now we're going through hard times and I think it's easy compared to what these guys have had to go through. The Olympics were in Germany in 1936. That's right where the Nazis had already installed the first um, concentration camp. So it was really a tough time worldwide. They were the underdogs, just to say the least. They came from poor families. They didn't have much. Um, they were struggling to, to make ends meet. And nonetheless, they came together and they win. But I don't want to dig too deep in the book because I really want you to enjoy it and get the full story for yourself. Highly, highly recommend this book. Give it a try. And speaking of the 1930s and the, the Holocaust, stick around until the last book because that one is actually from an author who was in the concentration camps in the 1930s and his story is just absolutely amazing. So stick around, but for my second book, I have The Way of the Peaceful Warrior by Dan Millman. It's an, also an amazing book. And I read it about, I think, 10 years ago, so my memory might be playing tricks on me. Um, but I think it's about a guy who's in college and he's successful by all measures. He has amazing grades, he's successful with girls in school, he is a very, very athletic man. He's actually, I think, going to the Olympics. Um, and then one night, he's not able to sleep and he goes to the gas station where he meets a man named Socrates. And I think that's how you say it, Socrates or Socrates. But anyway, it's an, it's an old man um, that has a bunch of lessons to share with this young college student that thinks he has life all figured out, um, which can be us sometimes. We know we, we get caught up in our own uh, little problems. Um, and we think success is what truly brings happiness, but this book really shows what matters in life. And it's, uh, I think it's more relevant now than ever. So highly, highly recommend The Way of the Peaceful Warrior by Dan Millman. They even made a, um, a movie with this book. It's a really popular book. And the third book, this one has inspired me more than words can say. If you know me, you know I beat the Guinness World Record for the most burpees in 12 hours. And this book is from David Goggins. He actually beat the Guinness World Record for the most pull-ups in 12 hours, if I'm not mistaken. And he really inspired me because he his story is just absolutely unbelievable. And I think his book has been read by so many people that I won't uh, spend too much time on it. But if you haven't read Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins, his life story is absolutely inspirational. His motivation is contagious. So highly, highly recommend this book. Now the fourth and last book, and by the way, I will post the, the links to the Amazon uh, if you wanna buy these books in the comments below. Now this one is from Victor E. Frankel and it's Yes to Life in Spite of Everything. I think this book is more relevant now than ever and I just read it um, a few months ago. And somehow for me personally, I like reading about people who go through hard times. I like meditating about death and suffering. And the reason why is because it helps me realize how my own problems are so small. And realizing how small my problems are is just a kick in the back to tell me, you know what, Sam, it, enjoy life and don't take it too seriously. Now his, his life story is just a story of incredible inspiration, incredible suffering, and regardless, after he came out of the camps, he started doing conferences, he started speaking about his experiences, he wrote a few books, and um, I'm actually gonna read a passage to you right here. The lesson Frankel drew from this existential fact, our perspective on life's events, what we make of them, matters as much or more than what actually befalls us. Fate is what happens to us beyond our control, but we each are responsible for how we relate to those events. And basically what he's trying to say is, regardless of what they put him through in the concentration camps, he had his own freedom because he could choose how he reacted to certain events. Now, being in concentration camps is probably 
20,000 times worse than what we could ever live right now with the whole situation, even though it's not easy. Um, but we choose how we react to what, what's going on right now. All right, guys, I thought I'd pause the video for a quick second to let you know I'm not trying to compare one situation with the other. It's why I'm using such a high number as it's 20,000 20, times worse. Um, it's because I'm using a stupid number to say you can't compare one situation with the other. I'm not going to pretend to know what anyone has been through in the concentration camps nor has their families. It's really just um, to try to make a point in the sense that even in the hardest moments, we control how we react to what's happening to us. All right, so that's my little rant. Now back to the video. And so reading this book has really given me a new perspective on the whole worldwide situation right now, and I cannot recommend it enough. It's Yes to Life in Spite of Everything by Viktor E. Frankl. So there you have it, my four favorite books for inspiration. Now, if you follow me over on Instagram, you know I read a lot. I've read over 400 books. I actually need to rent storage for my books and a lot of you have asked um, the, my favorite books that shaped my entrepreneurial life and so make sure you subscribe because I will be sharing more books about how to start a business and how to run a business. We'll be talking about those probably in the next, uh, next four weeks. So subscribe and thanks again for watching guys, have a great day.